a lot of students are on social media. Mm -hmm. Okay, a Georgia lawmaker introduced two bills this week that would try to put some curbs on artificial intelligence here in Georgia. Yeah, this is very interesting. One bill deals with health and insurance and the other with discrimination. 11 Lives' Doug Richards has more on what they do and why. Artificial intelligence is already making its mark on college campuses, where some students don't mind admitting that it's mighty handy for term papers. This was in June. Yep, it will give me a whole paper in five minutes. Now you're not really supposed to do that, right? Everyone cheats in college. Artificial intelligence also shouldn't be used to get too deep into the backgrounds of people seeking, say, health insurance says David Schweidel at Emory's Gorzetta Business School. So maybe they're not discriminating on the basis of the medical diagnosis, they're discriminating based on search engine history. We don't want that. Individuals are nervous about AI. Mandisha Thomas says some of her neighbors in South Fulton are convinced companies using AI are holding them back. State Representative Thomas has introduced two bills in the state house. They would make it illegal to use AI to discriminate against people to prevent health or public assistance providers from making decisions based on AI. We don't want AI to have the last word when a customer or participant of a program is on public services. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want them to have the last word. We want a human to have that last word. These are reasonable steps. What they're effectively saying is we don't want machines that are black boxes making important decisions. Schweidel says he expects these are the first of many AI bills likely to emerge this legislative session as lawmakers continue to learn from constituents what worries them about artificial intelligence. In DeKalb County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.